Y'all, um, you know how everybody tells you when you get clean cells out of a, a uh, cell builder? There's some syrup right there. When you get queen cells out of a cell builder, you, you take your brush and brush the bees off of them, you know. Let me show you something a little better than that. I'm going to try my best to do this one-handed. This is going to be a job. All right, got that broke loose. I'm going to get stung all up right here trying this mess. I'd buy enough smoke in there that way to get them happy. Shoot. We're going to find out. So I'm going to open that baby up. Yeah, so there's your couple bees there, you see. You know, you do that right there. You especially need to be wearing a veil, you know, when you do this kind of thing. But when you these queenless bees right here, you know, when you got... When you got queenless bees, they've been queenless for quite some time. You know, you can't be messing around with them without protection. You see that, don't you? Because they will sting you up. Now, now that we got that behind us, here's some, uh, this little frame right here are some cells, uh, cups that I dipped yesterday. Okay, so I put them in there. This is going to be the second round of grafts. I don't know why this one got such sorry takes. Could have been my stupidity. It wouldn't shock me a bit, but nevertheless, I didn't give a 7 out of, what, 30. This was a hive that swarmed, though, and I just tore them down and shook them down in this thing. And in this single, you know. You have to be extremely careful. These things, when they're queenless, man, they are just, they're just evil. That's all there is to it. So what we got, like right there, these are empty, no larvae in them. I just give them to them last night. See how they rounded them off? I reckon y'all can see that crap. I can't half because the sun's against me in this retarded cell phone. See how they round the ends off of them? Well, you all see it in a minute now, sure enough. Ah, come on. Yeah, see that? They make them look pretty. They done chewed several of them down. Oh, well. But they make them look pretty. They make them look just like they, uh, like they do on the side of a, a comb. You know, you see them make a, uh, a swarm cell cup, whether or not a queen lays in them or not. You know. Anyhow, so I'll give them these again and try them. I'm gonna graft. Well, they done knocked out three of them, so they must be trying to tell me something again. Anyhow, this is what I was going to show you, though. These have just been capped. They were working on capping them yesterday. All right, well, if you know a little bit about the numbers with bees, the day that a cell is capped, the larvae is in the process of spinning a cocoon. Well, you don't want to shake that larvae, if it's a queen, vertically, while she's trying to spin a cocoon. Because you will screw her up if you do. So. I believe we can see that these are capped. There's seven of them on the bottom. I can't remember if it was any on the top or not just capped today so that queen inside of those she's in the process of, of spinning a cocoon now you don't want to shake her up because you'll you'll just mess that all up and there's there's a nice one right there to look at you'll mess that all up you might mess her up to the point to where she gets screwed up and dies so this is what I was going to show you 
They say you're supposed to brush the bees off of one. Well, if I take that frame right there, look at all this one-handed mess here now. I ain't the most coordinated creature on the planet. But, nevertheless, see they propped up against the parent hive right there, right? See that? Ain't that nice? Now, I'm going to leave that open because I'm getting ready to graft into these. Whatever ones they didn't tear all to pieces. I'm going to just stick your lid back on here. Okay. One handed, mind you. Might crunch a couple. Maybe they'll forgive me, maybe they won't. That thing fired up good. Now, this is so simple. I hope to goodness y'all can see that because I can't I can't have see the camera or the the screen on the telephone. Watch this. Now what you gonna do by doing that, smoking the crap out of them. They are gonna freak out and start marching back home. They know they ain't far away. They know right up there is the entrance. So they are gonna just plumb clear that frame and march right up in there, like that. And it don't take but just a second. You're watching it in real time here. See that? So I haven't had to jar those cells or do anything. I just set them right there, smoke the bees a couple times, look at them running right off of them, right back in the hive. It is amazing how much you can manipulate. Oh dear, I don't know what I did to that thing then. Anyway, yeah, it's amazing how much you can manipulate bees with smoke. You can make them do all kind of stuff. Now if I had two hands, rather than one, I would have held it right here and run them off of it onto the side of it the hive. So you gotta have it well lit now. If I were by myself out here and wasn't trying to make a video though, you'd get, you know, you'd, you'd see it better. But there you are, I mean the frame's clean. And so now I can walk around there. One, two, three. One, two, three, five, six. For some reason they decided that didn't want worth a crap in the middle. I don't know what the deal was with that one now. Anyway, you get the idea though. And that required no um, no jarring of the cells at all, so they're set. Uh, yeah, why? I, I don't know why they didn't they didn't take any more than they did. And you see how they treated them at the top. They even <laughs> they even cut them down and flattened them out right there. So crazy bees. Things don't go always according to plan, do they? Usually, when I make a cell builder, I take the queen, wait five days, tear the cells down and give them mine, my cells, to round off like they did with those. And then a couple days later, tear down whatever cells they tried to make again and then graft. So 
but this was different that was a swarm that, that swarmed and so I got what I got there I'm gonna try it again see what happens enough boring video for y'all catch you later all right peoples got these graphs done I don't know they they flattened out a bunch of the cells so I kept the ones that were shaped like cups flattened out some of the cups rather I kept the ones that were nice and cupped still and uh, grafted into them so I'm gonna stick these in here right quick and then I'll cook us a steak so a fellow was asking me Thursday night about my how did I do my grafts and my grafting tool and all that stuff I should have well, you got that much figured out. There's my little old grafting table. And this is that grafting tool that if you happen to be watching this, you know who you are and you got my email and you saw it. Now this thing, this cell phone camera is supposed to be able to do some pretty decent macro video. That is it. That's a piece of lashing wire like you use on cable TV coax up on the power lines to wrap it around that that piece of steel uh, uh, steel galvanized cable, you know, that holds it up. That is my grafting tool. Yes, it is. I made two different size cups. I favor this one on this end for whatever reason. I don't know, it just works. One of these days, I may get sophisticated enough to take a video of actually reaching down in a cell and picking a larvae up. Anyway, there's my moist paper towels that I used to lay over the first, you know, uh, run of cells. And, of course, there's all my notes. That's how I do my notes on my beehives. Every beehive's got a number on the back. And a corresponding index card. I can tell you, like number 50 right there, I had a virgin queen that was out of S1913. Now, S1 is the first breeder queen out of a striking apiaries queen of 2013. 913 is when... 913 is when she was mated. The V stands for that is a virgin, which is her daughter. And so on and so on. This one is a daughter of Strachan One, who was mated in 913. This one was mated in June 6 of 14, and so on. That's how I do my notes. I just figured I'd throw that in there since that's laying there. I keep my little old grafting tool and my note thing, and I used to use these for marking queens, but I've since turned, since I watched one of Michael Palmer's clips about marking them with Testor's model paint, I got some of that from somebody on eBay, and I like that better. I got a dulled Q-tip, and I dip that in that model paint, and I can do better with that. But I leave this in here to use it for uh, drawing the numbers on the back of the hives. Let me show you. Shoot. We're going to get all boring and mess. Throw a steak on that baby in a little bit. And play with the bees as a minute. See these bearding creatures, I tell you. They're liable to kill me if I don't get out here in a suit. But anyway, yeah, there's your corresponding number to the index cards in various colors. I like that green no better because you can see at this time of day. If I could find one. Things don't always go according to plan. It's just like right there. See that green one? That number 52. Uh, and number 53 on the end. You can see that a long ways away before you ever get close enough to see that magenta. So I like the green. It's, um, uh, anyway, that's the story on that deal. That's how I make that work. I know the status on every single hive based on an index card corresponding to it. And it works so far. I could keep a notebook, but I like them index cards because when I get one full, I can 
either catalog it or throw it away depending on whether I want to keep the history on a queen I pretty much know the history on my genetic lines if you don't keep up with your queens if you don't mark them I got a black queen back here in the backyard right now that came from I don't know where she took over one of my nukes that was in the process of getting mated threw out my virgin queen and now she's laying beautifully so if you don't keep up with stuff you don't know and like that Africanized type stuff they'll be just as calm as a lamb and then eat you for breakfast later if you don't keep up with them because they do the same thing so I keep an eye on that one in the backyard just about every queen I've had overthrow another one was not the nicest thing in the world but but that one back yonder if I had more daylight I'd go back yonder and take a video this was about grafting though and this covered my grafting tool for Mike uh, the other day if you happen to be watching the videos not the one down there in North Carolina <laughs> anyway that's that yeah so see if I can cook something about to starve.